Sydney's proudest institution is the public library of New South Wales. Bronze doors of Australian explorers lead to Carlyle's quotation. In books lies the soul of the whole past time, the articulate, audible voice of the past, when the body and material substance of it has altogether vanished like a dream. The visitor steps onto a marble mosaic map in colour of Abel Tasman's discoveries up to 1644, an accurate reproduction of the original. Inside the main reading room, the third largest in the world, with 50,000 volumes and room for 500 readers, students and public have open access to the card index catalogue, which facilitates the search for books. These great bookline tiers are only a small fraction of the half million volumes which are filed under the library's various sections. There is no age limit to learn, no limit to the library's scope. Under the Tudor chandelier of the Shakespearean Memorial Library are 2,000 volumes, including the only copy in Australia of the rare first collected edition of Shakespeare's work of 1623. Known as the first folio, it is valued at 12,000 pounds. The library's stained glass windows portray the bard's seven ages of man, from as you like it. The library's manuscript section specializes in the repair and preservation of old letters and documents of historical interest. Elsewhere in the bindery, valuable books are carefully rebound and then the titles stamped onto the letter in gold letters. In the research department, students are spared the labor of copying necessary information by hand by the photographic service which photographs the whole page required for a small fee, a lasting and accurate record of the subject. The Country Circulation Department sends reference books direct to country students, as well as maintaining travelling libraries. The Dixon Wing, a bequest to the state from Sir William Dixon, includes 350 paintings of such historical figures as Captain James Cook. A visitor looks at the likeness of the man responsible for the ship's log which she holds in her hand, a journal of the proceedings of His Majesty's bark Endeavour. The Mitchell Library, a gift of Mr. David Scott Mitchell, contains thousands of priceless volumes, manuscripts and paintings of Australian historical interest. Some are kept under glass for safety, such as Captain Bly's log of the proceedings of His Majesty's ship Bounty. The Mitchell Reading Room is open to the students of Australiana, and neither age nor station is a restriction to those who wish to enrich their knowledge of old Australia. In addition to the bequest of one of the world's greatest national collections, David Mitchell left a rich endowment to the library. This heritage of knowledge is free for all to absorb and take out into the world. <laughs>